Why would a viral infection lead to cognitive decline? So toxins, nutrients, stressors, structural issues, signaling, and then infections. These are all categories of things that we want to balance. We want the right amounts in the right place at the right time. And if something is out of balance, if we got too much of an immune signal of an infectious burden, then we're going to trigger that neuroinflammatory process, that microglial activation that might wind us up with a neurodegenerative process. So herpes is something that you may have seen in the news, including varicella, which is chickenpox or later on shingles. What they saw was that the people who were born a week apart in this population who got the vaccine were 20% less likely to be diagnosed with Alzheimer's or dementia in the next seven years. That's very protective. Now these viruses, they live in our nervous system. So it Mm. makes sense that they might cause trigger neuroinflammation when they are reactivated. So shingles is a reactivation of chickenpox. And then when we get a cold sore, that's an activation of HSV-1 which is directly linked to that neuroinflammatory process. So we find that when we more aggressively treat with either the antivirals like acyclovir, valcyclovir, or valtrex, we see that people are less likely to end up with Alzheimer's or dementia later on. 